Today we're going to be going over the new ship and weapon mechanics on ships. So we're just going to be going over the basics of it and how it could, you know, change gameplay style. But I want you to go and check out our channel, memberships, our patrons, check out our Discord, check out our links in the description. I want to thank Fateless, um, A12345, The Real Donald Dump, and Reynold, Reynold Rosenthal. I always get that wrong. So we're going to get into it. Pretty much, I just want to go over how this is going to affect gameplay and how, you know, RSI could be thinking to bring this in right now because if you go and check out these new mechanics, they're pretty crazy. The other day I was sitting in a 600i and everyone just seemed to think the 600i is just a pig and it is no good. I can tell you very differently that it is a really great ship. You leave those size fives on it and you just put a, some better components on it like industrial or even military and you'll be sweet. <clears throat> so we're going to be going over the fact that this is going to be changing the gameplay style of a lot of people in this game. It's going to be changing the fact that people aren't just going to be going in, running, gunning, and trying to get in and out with a small ship. So I've been in the 600i, got attacked by two or three gladiuses, uh, an avenger. Uh, there was an anvil arrow there as well, and immediately shot them with a size 5. Obviously, yes, the size 5 has been powerful before, but with the ch mechanic changes, they... Even with the bug on the 600i, so it doesn't actually get 100% armor, it gets about 25 and that's it. Even with that bug there, they were getting their shield down just a tiny bit, and I was just wiping the floor with them with the, the three size fives on that 600. Like, you line them up, you land two shots, and it'll knock their shield out. If you land all three, boom, dead, gone. The Gladius was, like, written off. Uh, Pirate Gladius, the Anvil Arrow, just all those little small fighters, medium fighters weren't having a chance against it. and there was about two or three of them against me at once so when you really think about it it's not gonna it seems like it's not really going to change it's forcing people to actually have to play together so now that you see this new mechanic and feature in the game it seems like people are having to work together they're actually you know trying to um, create like a group they're trying to make this game multiplayer so you have to play with someone you can't just go in and gun by yourself in a small ship against a big ship right because it doesn't make sense for a small ship to be able to destroy a big ship. I mean, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. So they're trying to, I think, nerf it and make all the mechanics work together nicely. So you know how the Talon was really OP before? It's not really that OP anymore. It's sort of just brought down to the level with everything else because of this whole change in 3.14. And I think they're doing this as well to make it multiplayer. They're also changing it to test it in the new Xeno Threat. So the obviously revised uh, Xeno Threat. Uh, the Nine Tails mission, which is going to have PvP in it, so they're probably also doing this for the gameplay style, and that it's going to be something to do with Orison, or it could be anything, I guess. But they're doing this to test the mechanics and see how people react with it, because if they don't like the mechanics, then they may change them and you know alter them as they have been throughout this PTU lately, because it's just been insane with the amount of things that are going on in it, the amount of patches they're bringing out, um, the amount of fixes they're bringing. So. We know this patch in the PTU could be going on for a little while. It might, it's not going to be there forever, obviously, but it's going to be um, ongoing. So it might be a little while till we get to 3.15 to get the Ares and the Redeemer and the A2. I myself have both Ares and the Redeemer, so I'm going to be in the game set to go. Also, I probably won't be keeping those ships, but we're going to be just sort of keeping on task and topic with this new mechanic. So it's not going to be you know one-sided to bigger ships i mean you have multiple fighters against a smaller ship you might have a chance it's it's talking about like when you have a polaris or a perseus and you're going up against a kraken or an idris so obviously they're smaller ships but at the same time it's making it sort of it's making it better because obviously you're going to have an idris that could have one or two people with it or could even be by itself it's like when you're doing a mission but then you could also have it so if you're in a Perse Perseus, Polaris, you got your small fighter Scorpius on board, you got a couple of other ships coming in, it's going to make that fight a little bit more fair for everyone. It's going to sort of create opportunities within the game play itself as well. So, it's along with this, um, so the, the death of a spaceman, it's going to create a lot of havoc with that once that comes in, but we know that that mechanic has changed. So, if you want to go over that, let me know down in the comments. That'll be really interesting. I want to know what you guys have got to think, like, say about all of this stuff down in the comments. Go to our Discord, chat about it, at me, you know. Don't at me, like, a lot, but do at me because I'm interested in what you guys have got to say. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it seems that this mechanic 
has just changed a lot of people's thoughts on this game and it's actually made uh, like bigger ships even like the MSR the MSR was a really nice easy going ship and now it's sort of like a heavy heavier ship and it, it's I think gonna change a lot of people's thoughts on a lot of ships because like the, the 600i obviously is a big ship and it is hard to handle a lot of people are used to the bigger ships and uh, the way that they handle but with the MSR how it's been changed lately and some of the other ships it may change a little bit more so I think they're really gonna have to think about what they're doing here um, people are gonna have to take into consideration that obviously this game is ongoing it's forever changing the it's in like obviously alpha um, but how, how good is that new HUD? I love that new HUD. It's so good. The scanning system, oh man, it looks so cool. Um, and also when you're scanning, like when you're pinging and then you're scanning someone's ship, that's so cool. It brings up all the detailed components and weapons and pretty much everything, their faction, uh, their name, the owner, and like whether who is flying it and who, oh man, it's just, honestly, this new update is blowing my mind. And if you have had a look at the new update for next year, the... Um, so the first part of next year, it's even crazier. So, um, yeah, I think this whole new mechanic and changes to the game um, is just going to create a lot of drama. There's going to be there is a lot of drama going on in the Spectrum forums over it as well. People are not happy, but I guess it is what it is. Everyone has to adapt. We all have to change. I'm for one not going to stop playing Star Citizen just because of a simple patch. But I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Baron. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get those notifications, and peace. I'll see you in the verse.